right, here's your update. Okay. Something just happened today with no real warning. And you have to rely on a handbrake to stop your car with passengers in it. You're probably gonna go over the guardrail. It's about that time again. Okay, so my Mustang is in a shop in Los Angeles because yesterday, by the way, if this phone rings, we're gonna take it. Yesterday, I was driving down the freeway, the 405, in some traffic, and I hit the brakes, and I heard this loud boom sound. All of a sudden, I had no stopping power. Um, I grabbed the handbrake, threw it into park, and skidded to a stop just barely before hitting the car in front of me. Dodged a huge bullet. Um, I was in the far left lane. A police officer had to show up and escort me as I kind of rolled into the emergency lane on the far right. I waited there for five hours while a tow truck finally showed up and dropped it off at the shop. I woke up this morning and uh, I texted the shop and told them everything. The only variable here is that there were some new rotors and ceramic brakes installed on the front axle in preparation for this past weekend's rally with Malibu Audubon. Now, we ran the car very hard at Malibu Audubon. Virtually no issues. Yesterday, when I was going about 30 miles an hour, I hit the brakes and the pads literally fell out of the calipers. All the brake fluid drained out of the front left caliper. I got an advanced traction control failure as well as brake failure and empty brake fluid. My wheel locked in place and I wasn't able to start the car. So a lot happened very quickly with almost no real warning or symptoms. I've never heard of this combination of things in a car and I've never heard of a brake pad falling out of a caliper. We're gonna figure out what's going on. All I know is I just texted my friend at the shop. It is West Coast Tire and Service. Love those guys. Any update on the car because it's been there for a couple hours now and all he texted back was, I'll call you in a minute. And then I said, oh no, that doesn't sound good. And he said, make sure you're sitting down when I call. Sitting down. When this call comes in, we're gonna hit speaker and we're all gonna ride this out together. Here we go, guys. Hello? Alright, you ready for this one? Yeah, well, hit me with it, man. So you're gonna need patch rotors, calipers. So basically what happened was, they did it, they sent the wrong rotors. So the pad itself basically bent. That's what they said, the calipers leaking. Okay, so it was all due to the wrong size rotor. Correct. Not the installation. Not the installation. That's what I thought. So we need rotors, pads, and calipers, correct? Well, that was good. I thought I thought my transmission was destroyed. I thought I was gonna have to deal with steering issues. They sent me the wrong parts. Their part, their rotor was faulty, caused my calipers to leak brake fluid, and almost caused an accident that killed me. Time to talk to R1 Concepts. I'm so happy it wasn't my fault. I knew it was faulty parts. You guys sent me the wrong size rotors. They were too skinny and they weren't able to hold the pads in place and they caused a leak in the brake fluid system. And then uh, once the pressure went out, the advanced traction control failed and the pads fell out of the calipers. So I have to replace the calipers because they're leaking brake fluid now. And uh, I have to replace obviously the rotors and the pads. Yeah, I can definitely send that over to my supervisor. Okay, thank you, for, thank you so much. I think it's gonna work out. Yeah. Friends and neighbors, we are here in sunny Hollywood, California, on our way to go find a very uniquely wrapped BMW. We're gonna shoot them over by the downtown skyline. May or may not have a purge theme to this shoot. We'll see, it all kind of depends on the owner. In the meantime, let's get to downtown because I'm almost late. All right, we are out here at the Los Angeles I guess like train yard area. Fun fact, right in that location over there earlier this year, we brought the chain smokers out for a shoot and shot the tour poster. We sat out here for like three hours and waited for the rain to stop. <laughs> Found a shady spot. This, but this area, this whole like shipping area, whatever it is we are in, is super underrated as a car shooting location. Everybody really likes the trains over there. It's cliche, but there's no rules out here. You can park like wherever you want. You know, you don't have traffic really to deal with and there's plenty of shady places where you get the even lighting. Even lighting spot, car looks menacing. Um, we gotta up the ante here. So we've got two pistols, prop pistols that I've hung on to since my childhood when 
I used to play airsoft, and we've got this crazy looking mask I bought at a costume shop, and this MP5, so we're gonna see what kind of crazy looking Joker purge, I don't even know what this like Mad Max shoot is gonna be, but you're gonna see these photos and they're gonna look awesome. That completes this shoot with that BMW. Guys, we got some sick shots. I love being creative and unique, so the fact that we got like some weapons involved in that crazy looking mask, I even make more trips to the costume store. The Sony A7 III. Boys and girls, this thing slaps. I can shoot in direct sunlight, I can shoot in shade, it can go in low ISO, it can go in high ISO, it looks dope on full frame. Everything about that camera is worth the price I paid for it. I'm stoked to shoot Stradman's cars. Oh, uh, pause. You guys probably wanna know what happened with the, the brakes, right? Let me just go ahead and start by saying, I am a clown. This, <laughs> this had nothing to do with R1 Concepts. I need you guys to know that. I got the word from the mechanic that it was faulty parts and the reason why it was faulty parts is because this guy installed the wrong parts on the wrong axle. I put the back rotors on the front and the front ones of course didn't fit on the back because they were too big and the back ones fit on the front because they were barely too small. They lasted just long enough for me to survive, literally survive Malibu Audubon, not go off any canyon walls, and then they failed while I was in traffic. You guys, I essentially won the lottery. I did not die in an accident that literally would have killed me and it would have all been this guy's fault. So, with that said, I am never going to install my own brakes again. I know how to do it, but one simple error like that almost cost me everything. I would much rather have an absolute pro handle the brakes. West Coast Tire, you are doing everything from now on. I will probably revisit the idea of putting R1 Concepts rotors on this car because they did a stellar job sending them to me and they were so nice about it even though I completely put them on blast. Anyway, that's the verdict of the story. We have stock brakes on now. <laughs> we're all good to go and all is well. Moving on to the Stradman shoot. Guys, what a sick place to pick the vlog back up. Other than the fact that I'm standing next to like a Shelby Mustang, and the Roush. Uh, today is the day, ladies and gentlemen. We are, well, it's early. It's so early. In fact, I had to get up like a little bit before 4 a.m. this morning. I was up till midnight last night packing the Sony and the Lumix and all my camera gear because we're flying to Utah today to go shoot Stradman's entire purple collection. Myself and my Air Force friend, AJ Lee Photo, will be the first ones with a closed shoot with these cars. Guys, I'm risking so much between the new camera investment and hopefully turning this car purple to pursue YouTube full time. So make sure, this is just a huge reminder, make sure you are subscribing to this channel because we will be releasing videos every week and this week's video is gonna be sick. Time to nap. Holy cow. Is this what it's like to be Stradman, where you just wake up, travel, go to makes and models, be around supercars, and be in Utah? Is this a, is this a Stradman day? Cause we're on our way to make some models. In three, two, one. All right, here out at makes and models. We got the 599 on the left and the uh, OG guard on the right. The makes and models used to be located next door to my house, and the only reason Holy shower. The only reason that I even found them was because my Mustang kept breaking down and I had to take it to make some models and became really good friends with them. And because I came, became friends with them, they eventually introduced me to James Stradman. So the fact that my Mustang was like falling apart and that the old make some models location was so close to my house is the only reason I know Stradman. Oh yeah, it's here you guys. The new Ferrari challenge car, holy cow. Look at this thing. Shooting with Clayton in 30 minutes downtown over there, we're gonna be shooting his F430, which is a little bit different than the challenge car, but at least it has air conditioning. Time out, we got Dream Cars Daily pulling up in the Gallardo with the sick wrap. That's goals to have your YouTube Lambo, either an orange or a green. Um, it's happening, you guys, it's happening. Oh, what a location. What a location for an F430 shoot with Clayton and Faith. We also got a uh, Sal guy there as well. We're gonna back it up, it's golden hour shoot, it's looking all industrial and everything. Oh, what's up, what's up? Yeah, you guys should go follow them. 
Summit Auto Lab on YouTube. I'll put their link in the description below. They're super good friends with Stradman. That's how I found them. And should this bet actually pull off and we end up wrapping my car purple, these two will be the guys doing it. So they are expert rappers. Not like Eminem. I'm gonna shoot while we still have uh, light. Oh, it's a new day. Today is Wednesday. I uh, finished up the Ferrari shoot yesterday and it went so, so good. Clayton and Faith are so much fun to shoot with. Super stoked. Um, AJ Lee is on the way and then we're gonna hop in this Jeep and head south to go catch Stradman and bring out his fleet. Um, very excited for today. Been planning for this for a long time. The bet has officially begun. We are launching promo. By the time you see this video, hopefully I am on my way to 10,000 subscribers to YouTube. Once AJ gets here, we're gonna take off. Unfortunately though, I'm gonna leave you guys on a cliffhanger. You will not be able to catch the Stradman experience in this vlog. You're gonna have to make sure you're subscribed so you can get next week's vlog. We're gonna have the Aventador, we're gonna have the Gladiator, we're gonna have the Supra. Oh, there might be a Burlocker GT350, I hope. We'll see. Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing. Next week's video is gonna be probably one of the sickest videos that I've ever dropped, and uh, maybe we'll wrap this Mustang purple. We'll see. Catch you next week. Peace.